camera is on me. Hey everyone, Economic Ninja here. If you are planning on buying XRP or a long-term holder of XRP or considering crypto at all, I want to bring you some information because XRP may have a downturn in its price. This is based off technical analysis. I'm not a financial advisor. Don't take any of this as investment advice. I'm just a dude with a bro and a dream, but I'm with my friend, Jay Bravo. Jay Bravo has a channel on YouTube. If you haven't heard about him, check it out. We're going to go through technical analysis of something he's seeing in the charts regarding the XRP price. Johnny, how are you doing? I'm doing really good. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me on. Um, all right. So just to let you guys know right out of the shoot, I have no dog in this fight. Um, I do hold uh, XRP. Um, it's a small amount, so it's not anything to you know write home about. Um, but I'm a trader, so every day uh, I trade crypto, uh, I trade options, I trade anything that moves, I'll trade it because I want my digits going up, digits solve problems, and that's just what I do every day. Um, I, I mean, there are there are assets out there that I I would say that I I struggle not to fall in love with, gold, silver, Bitcoin, um, and so it's it gets it gets. It makes the 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 waters a little cloudy because I my heart's in it, but I try every day whenever I trade to not uh, to not get involved. And I like our XRP. I like what they're doing. Um, so I'm a, I am a fan. Uh, I'm not a fan boy. So well, let's show them what you're talking about in the charts. Let's pull those up. I've I've given you opportunity to share it. And as he's pulling it up, I want to let people know technical analysis charting. Uh, what a lot of people use for ins and outs uh, of investing in any kind of asset, whether it be stocks or crypto, I want you to realize that the most important thing about this is that this is a picture of history. And it's also the charting of emotions, human emotions, either they're freaking out and buying something or they're freaking out and selling things. So Johnny, the floor is yours. What are you seeing with XRP? Okay, can you see my screen right now? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so what most people see is just you know just two two lines uh to a gray one and and a white one um i also tr i when i trade i like to tone down uh the charts so it just makes it real simple for me to see um it's not like a lot of colors although i i do start adding them um looking at this if you guys can just with your eyes if you could see a triangle well you're already probably a trader um so something that you could be looking at, you could actually be looking at, you know, something far away like that, or you could be looking at uh, something, something here, uh, you know, like, like in, like in this area. So that would be one. And then the bottom of that triangle uh, would be, would be something like this. So that's your, uh, that would be your support and uh, your resistance. Actually at the top would be your resistance. Uh, I'm just going to draw a quick little uh, trend line right here. This it's been following since uh, March of uh, 2020, um, 20, yeah, 2020. Um, so if this trend line continues, it should look something like that. And that should be a, a good little buy zone if you guys want to buy. Um, I'm not, I, would I be buying right now? No, I wouldn't be buying right now. I'd be buying here at the bounce and then I would take the swing up. Um, so there, there's one thing that we can look at. So this goes way back. Um, and what I, what I'm getting kind of nervous about is when we zoom into the daily, uh, and we look at the daily, see that, so that was the monthly, uh, and that goes way back, but it's like, you know, what's going on right now, uh, paints now another picture and I'm going to now get rid of the bars um, and I'm just going to go, I'm going to consolidate and just make it a blue line to make it easy for people to see. Um, I see a big support uh, right here um, as I draw this blue line. So now this blue line can go back for for quite a, quite a ways. Um, I'm just going to stop it here. It came down. It found support, 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 support. And I can guarantee you, again, this blue line goes back there. There's a reason why XRP uh, stopped. Uh, let me just be perfect on that one. Um, why it stopped right there was because that's an area of support. Came down, came up. One, so it tagged it one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we are currently underneath it. Also, you have a, now I can see this with my eyes. It's a little mini head and shoulders there. Uh, that's not going to be good. Um, but you've already broken down to the downside. So a price target is actually 
uh, 41 cents. Uh, yeah, people will probably start grabbing it a little earlier before it gets there. Um, so that's, that is on that. Uh, what else do I see? Um, j just pulling back. I don't know. Can, um, Ninja, can you see, uh, any head and shoulders on this I at can. all? Yeah, yeah, I can between March and April of 2022. Okay. Uh, so you saw the top. The okay. There you go. So you, you were able to catch the top. Let me, uh, put, put the little, little guy's head up here. Um, so that's, that's, that's the, that's the top of the head, the shoulders here, uh, left shoulder here, right shoulder there. You don't want to break this neckline and I'll show you where the neckline is. Uh, the neckline is going to be roughly in that area. Now, do you see how quickly once it broke? Because yep. that's what it all, yeah, this is what charts is history. It's fear and greed. It's just basically everything into one and that's just what I trade. And then it gives you percentages. So if I were to Google search a head and shoulders, what, what move does that play or what, when it breaks, uh, what's going to happen? Well, a head and shoulders, if it breaks that neckline and gets rejected, you're looking, that's about an 80 ish percent, which that's really high. So you go to Las Vegas and you're at, uh, what you're at 49%. Um, they make sure that it is in the house's favor. Uh, and if I were to draw this from, from the break of that neckline, there is your price target, basically where it landed. Um, and it found support. Now I could also turn on wicks because you're like, well, that wasn't, or I can go candles. I can show you a wick. Do you see the wicks down here? I don't know yep. if you guys can see it. I turn them light, um, but it, it hit price target. Actually, uh, someone picked it up down here at 42 cents and it popped back up, which is kind of nice to have like uh, buy orders set in at these weird levels. Well, let uh, me, if, if you don't yeah. mind, Johnny, let me answer that. So when we see Wix uh, drop like that, especially on crypto, since there's so many um, exchanges worldwide, there are some exchanges that have very light volume and those light volume exchanges, whether it be in Korea, China and other countries, we see this usually in the East, they can grab those because it's a little bit easier due to light volume in an exchange to take advantage of extreme fear, people selling. Uh, with Coinbase, Gemini, and larger uh, accounts, it's harder to grab those wicks, just so you know. So if you have a Coinbase account, what Johnny's pointing out more than likely happened in an Eastern exchange that's smaller. Yeah. Oh, I mean, but it could be someone just has a sell order in or someone, and it's just like, boom. It's It could be one order that uh was down here uh and two loss, people, yeah yeah and two people agreed and you know someone got it at 42 42 cents and on the exchanges they know where these are at too so they they can go down there and grab them and also the um I'm, I'm not very happy with crypto exchanges uh what they'll do is do scheduled maintenance <laughs> and they'll yeah. all collude together and take everyone's money and you could have like a million dollars thinking, oh, but then you have a stop loss put in way. Let's say, oh, we'll just put it way down there just in case. And then within, you know, you go away, you go to lunch, you come back and your million's gone. And it's because they grabbed it. Go ahead. Johnny, if you could pull the chart back to where um, XRP hit like in 2020 or whatever, uh, $1.50. Let me explain that. Because what Johnny's explaining is extremely important to know. Because I have exchanges where my trading bag is in the exchange. Um, right. However, yeah. when the SEC came out with that lawsuit, exchanges worldwide started shutting down trading for XRP. Since I had my at multiple accounts open up, like eight different trading accounts worldwide, I was able to take advantage of that price spike because there was so little XRP out there available. It ran up to like a buck 50 and some people were able to sell, pull it off of their Trezor or their hardware device, their private wallets put it onto an exchange somewhere that didn't shut out, down XRP and they crushed it right there. So that's a good explanation, Johnny, of, of what's going on with these exchanges. You're right. They yeah. do collude. Someone, uh, someone bought it at XRP uh, was a dollar 96. Wow. Oh. And that's the wick. I'm glad that you make the wicks light because wicks are extreme. The tip of either the downturn or the ups upturn. And it, that's what you usually don't want to focus on. You want to focus on the actual candle closing uh, yeah. and opening amounts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you could just, you know, you could do a line chart like this. Uh, this one actually pulls it at uh, 183. Um, yeah, wicks can be weird. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, okay, so going back, look at this trend line that it, you're going to come down. I just uh, this this would be your accumulation zone um, yeah. on that forty one to forty two cents. But let me ask you this, Johnny, because you're talking yeah. about what if that breaks? What if? <laughs> now, I'm not saying it's going to, yeah. but we are talking about the Fibonacci levels based off of that break and that trend line. It's a very long term trend line, and the longer. <laughs> Uh, term uh, the longer trend line we have in history, the stronger it becomes. But Johnny, let's talk about what happens when that breaks. All right, let me if just it does. let me just take a little a, a quickie on this one and see what I can. Uh, you mentioned, and while he's doing that, everyone, I, I want you to understand again. Technical analysis is very important to know because again, we're trading emotions. Uh, but I have long-term XRP that I'm not going to liquidate because of this. I'm looking to better my odds for the next roll-in. I'm an investor, not a speculator. Investors buy when prices are going down, and they buy it based off of future technical analysis and future fundamentals. That's what separates an investor from a speculator. All right, Johnny, go ahead. All right, so key area, um, which I create... Uh on on the fib this is this is a um, a support and a resistance area um that that's that zone if you notice it went right into it and got rejected um that's bearish um you need to get you want to get above it so so there's your uh there's your fib no you know your levels are lower right now you're getting rejected at this level and you're underneath it so yeah so you're looking at if it breaks that trend line uh we could see in the teens for xrp uh, you, okay. You're already broken. I'm again, um, I could just draw a draw triangle here. Uh, something like that. Uh, come over here, draw something like that. Um, and then take this. Wow. That, uh, that one, one day candle actually looks like a, like I drew it. Um, yeah, you can come down uh, to eleven cents. Yeah, uh, I I mean, the, people are going to throw rocks at my face right now for even saying that. So no, let me let me and, chime in. Pretend I didn't say that. Well, look, hold no, on. No, I would be so excited if it did that. To be honest with you, because yeah. I like yourself, Johnny, are t weighing all of the the issues, and I wouldn't price out. I want people to remember this: when the stock market has a bad day. Crypto also has a bad day and it's getting worse. They're becoming more correlated because of now the, the latest invention of ETFs. ETFs create derivatives, which also create a lot of risk in the market. And in the past, a big downturn in the stock market also equates to a downturn in cryptos. I know people keep talk, wanting it to diverge. I'm sorry, it's going to get harder for that these two markets to diverge when, when Wall Street is investing so much in crypto. Wouldn't you agree, Johnny? Agree. Yeah. Agree. Um, okay. So you asked me where, where is it going to go? I could turn on my volume profile right now and it, I, it would probably start showing up in this area. Um, if it breaks, if you guys break 40, 43 cents, 40, 40, 0. Um, your next level is this area. Uh, and this is where people buy. This is where people buy and sell in this area. So we're coming down here. And then the next spot, uh, yeah, no one's going to like this one. Um, your next spot is going to be a smaller area. Uh, let's see here. Let me move this guy down. Um, probably right there. Uh, so that that's, that's, that's going to be 20 cents. Now let's do this, John. Let's talk about timing because nobody knows the true timing, but I want to, I can't explain a, a for sure. A for sure, this isn't going to drop like a rock tomorrow. And if you look at the timing of that triangle that Johnny has with the, the smiley face above it, that took a lot of time to move down. Yeah. And if you look at, if you wanted to sort of guess the timing, this could happen towards the end of the year, even into 2025. This is a long-term technical analysis look at the price of XRP, where the percentages are showing it could be in the future. So I want to, Johnny, do you have anything to add to that with timing? Because people like, if it doesn't happen next week, they're like, we wanted to record this now so we could go back later in the future and go, well, were we right or were we wrong? Right. Well, you have me on for like silver and other things. And nine times out of 10, I'm right. It, yep. But 10 times out of 10, it's not tomorrow. So... 
uh, that that's kind of, you know, people are like, ah, oh, you said it was going to go down and then tomorrow it goes up, but I can zoom in on the daily. I'll tell you where it's, I can tell you where it's going within a short amount of period, a long, you know, a, a longer, let's, let's look at the short amount before we close out. Cause I want to okay, give right. somebody, well, before I do that, let, when, when I teach people, um, see, this is a little bit more inductive, uh, pattern trading. I like to teach people how to swing trade. It's just so easy. Uh, you Big know, you numbers. Swing. Right. It's just easy. Um, and I try not to cloud them with like trend lines and uh, head and shoulders and all that kind of stuff. That's that's later. Something I'm going to put up is is probably one of the first things that I look at. And not only that, I look for a direction. So I'm going to put up the 200-day moving average. When I trade this, um, I, I trade, I, I say digits go up bull market above the 200, trade it down below the 200. We are below the 200. We actually, and look how fast, once it broke that 200, if I just zoom in, also look at here, here's your uptrend. Now we're in a downtrend. XRP is in a downtrend. So you are currently catching a falling knife. If you would like to do that, I'm okay with that. You know, I don't, I don't, again, no dog in this fight. But as I draw this blue line, do you see the directional strength of this? It's it's heading lower. So over time, now it, could it? Is it going to pop? Is it going to go higher? Yeah. Uh, looking at this, you don't stay in these levels for long, and then it pops up. You're heading down, and then it's going to pop up. Um, all right. So it's all you know. For me, it's just like indicators, 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 and then um, you know I, I I put money on it. And uh, 80% of the time or whatever it is, whatever the percentage is, digits go up and people are like, oh, that's, that's not even possible. And then, you know, you're, you're on my channel and you're like, yep, he called it every single fracking time. I don't know how he does it. it. I mean, I can't do it. I can do it with my eyes right now. You know, let, I can, let's, let me get rid of, uh, let's get rid of remove eight drawings. Um, I can do it with my eyes, what you just saw, but I'll tell you what helps me out is again, I need to see a 200. Um, I need to see my, uh, it's like my training wheels. Um, here's one it's called uh, market Oracle pro. Uh, it's red. It, it said right, right here, which was that 200 day moving average. We're heading lower. See, it was great. It goes from green to red. Um, and also look at each time it tags it. There's a wick tagged it, rejected, rejected. So this is, I call it the trampoline. Um, we're heading lower using that one. Uh, I also have one that creates patterns for me. And the pattern that it had was a falling wedge. If it breaks here, it's going up to here. It actually tells you uh, where it's going to go. Uh, so let's see, what was the percent move on that? That was a 13% move. So I take my $1 million and now my $1 million is 13% higher. Um, but then here, you know, it, you form a head and shoulders and I know, oh my gosh, don't break this neckline or we're going lower. Anywho, um, let me get rid of that. Any questions uh, uh, so far? And then I'll zoom into what's currently happening right now. Yeah, show me the last thing you want to show me as far as, or okay. show the audience, because I think okay. this is incredibly valuable, but we don't want to go too long because I know people are slammed right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, two more things. I have, a, it's called a nine count. Um, and I also have a thing called a purple nurple. Once it goes into the purple, it get it gets rejected and it pulls back. You came down to a nine. That's like pulling a rubber band down. Boom, it shot up. That's as high as you got. Um, and now we're trending down again. So you're going to have these bounces, this zone in here, that's kind of grayed out. It gets into that and it's going to pop back up. So will XRP go up? Yes. Will it go down? Yes. Will it go down more than it goes up? Yes. Um, and if you want to accumulate at lower levels, I gave it to you and, uh, you know, it's on you, but this is, this is your fear. This is your greed and you could take over from, I'll stop sharing. Dude, that's awesome. So. I want to share this part with you when Johnny was talking about, hey, you take your million dollars, you put it in, and you've got 13% of that. Remember, don't get frustrated when it comes to trading. We all start somewhere and we build up or we go down. And not understanding the difference between technical analysis and fundamentals could really hurt you. And 
again, 13% is still 13%. Whether it's a win or a loss, it's percentages. And that's what we want to do is we want to show you that the percentages, like Johnny said, the house has a 51% uh, gain over you in a casino. Why don't you go do the opposite on Wall Street? Right, Johnny? Yeah. And I also, I need to chime in because I can just hear, because I get it in the comments section um, where people are like, oh, it's rigged. Well, yeah, it is rigged and it's rigged in our favor. If if you have the charts and you have what I have, it's rigged hundred percent. It's like playing a video game, uh, you know, being a gamer. It's like, I have a modded controller and I can go through walls. Like it's, yes, it's rigged. Um, but it's rigged in my favor. Also, we just paper trade on my channel. I've, I would never use real money. That's frightening. Uh, this is not financial advice, but you need to get, I think the number is a hundred thousand. Once you can get there, it's, it, it, it's kind of like Albert Einstein said that the greatest invention known to mankind is compound interest. If you could just keep it going, it just grows exponentially. My money really didn't start blowing up until my thirties, probably my late, my late thirties. That's when it, it's like the numbers get really big. Um, and every decade it's just like, wow, I could have never imagined the digits being that big, but it's because, and I'm using every day I move, I just move money. It's like a snowball. You, it starts with a little pebble and it has to grow, but if you're not doing anything, it's not going to grow. So I, I can't help you if you're just building walls saying that, you know, that's not for me, it's rigged and we're all wait till there's blood in the streets. No, you're not. You, you, you won't. It, you're scared. You're scared because you don't have the knowledge. So you say no. But anywho, who am I? But thanks for having me on. Absolutely. And hey, everyone, if you want to check out Johnny's courses, I think they're amazing. I'm going to throw a link down below if you would like to check it out. Can we give him a sale link? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, you go awesome. Ahead. We'll give them a sale link and I'll, I'll direct them there. Uh, so if they want to start looking and, and learning technical analysis on this level, I want to highlight that. So I thank you so much. Yeah, Johnny. it works. I mean, I'm not, the percentages are there. It's, it, it'll work. <laughs> so I don't totally agree. I mean, there's so many scams out there. I, I'm, you know, I'm sorry about that, but it, there's stuff that actually really works in life. And I found that it works and money I found solves problems. So I yeah. use it to solve my problems. Totally agree. Well, thank you so much, Johnny, for coming on. I really appreciate it. You got it, buddy. All right. We'll uh, we'll chat soon. Right on. All right, everyone. With that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.